Cheers for tuning in to another episode of the Here's the Crack podcast. If you haven't already, subscribe to our Spotify and Apple Music and leave a five-star review. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and like the video. The start of every TikTok, you kind of go, yes, TikTok. Yes, TikTok. <laughs> I got it bad, but see, if you actually read, see Town Square, like Town Square, the restaurants, one of their ones are ridiculous. Someone said, like, all oh, the place smells like cigarettes. <laughs> but they replied to it. They replied to it. I like clicked on his account and I was like, this guy's big day, like, like he's an international DJ. And uh, I, I just messaged him, was like, yo mate, if you're ever in Belfast, like, let me know, I'd love to go to one of your shows. He replied like pretty much by on, like instantly he was like, uh, yes buddy, like how sings, um, I'm actually performing in Belfast at Balsamic next week, like if you want to come do some promo stuff to sell a few more tickets, blah, 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 I'll shoot you VIP tickets. Here's the crack, 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 welcome back, talking shit, I'm drinking wine, like, and subscribe, here's the crack. How's it going people, welcome back to another episode of the Here's the Crack podcast. Another episode, another guest. We've got Gidi or Matthew. We're going to refer to you as Matthew throughout yeah, this. So that's okay. Whatever is easier for you. Like. Um, yeah, thanks very much for coming on. Not a problem at all. Um, we're going to kick off. Thomas is going to ask a wee question. Yeah, just a wee icebreaker question, I'm thinking, because you do, do the food and all. Like, yeah. And you love a night out. Like, do we're love thinking, a night out. Yeah. Like, what is your like, go to hangover feed? Like, hangover after a night, feed? night out. No? Probably like. I wee boozum sometimes, boozum, decent, like, yeah. uh, but that's pretty standard. Yeah, probably like boozum, Subway sometimes does it as well. He like. says Subway, but yeah, I think Subway, 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 Subway can't hit it good such sometimes. A shit like. I think but, Subway um, is terrible. Yeah, just that's the last anything thing that's car- just carb up after a night out pretty much. Because yeah. like, it's really, see, it's probably going to be like the only thing that I eat that day yeah. pretty much. So it's just like, yeah. What, what are you getting boozum then? <sighs> Mexican rice, pinto beans, chicken, guacamole, um... What else? Oh, the wee chickpea, like Dorito things. Yeah. They're good, like, but. Yeah. Are you a bold man or a burrito man? Bit of both, man. Depends. Yeah. yeah depends. I, I find this ultimate hack. Do you know where you can get a bowl and just a wrap for an extra 50p? What? So, so you just get the wrap by so, itself. So you like? just order a bowl, right? Yeah. And then you can get a wrap on its own for an extra 50p. What are you going to do with the wrap on its like own? If you're the, like, 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 just take it home. But you know the way? You get that? the bowl. You get the bowl. Yeah. And you're like, you know, you eat, out eat out the as a bowl. And you're like, fuck, you know, I wish I, I got a fire bit. I wish I got a burrito, yeah. So uh, fair enough. Best of both worlds. I must use that on the tip for you. So did you just ask them for a wrap with nothing in it? No, you. You just get your bowl right first, and then you go. Can I get a wrap with that as well? Just a wrap on its own. Strange. Like, I could just imagine they're like, "Well, do you want a burrito or a bowl?" Then for you, like, do the wrap the wrap, and you. No, like, they just. Keep I guarantee you, though, there's been. Yeah, I guarantee you. Just eat it. There's like. probably been so many people who've been like serving you that walk away and like that guy knows who, something I don't like. Guy, yeah, like, just you walk so back in. They're like, "Oh mate, him again, him again." No, just give you like a wee piece of tin foil. Yeah. Well, I might try it sometime then. <laughs> 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 you should do a TikTok on it. Oh my god. Rarest bougie mortar. <laughs> what ha- what sort of brought about the whole it's so obviously at the start we've kind of sort of made a few comments about it where like at the start of every TikTok you kinda go, Yes, TikTok. Yes, TikTok. <laughs> so has that kind of become your trademark thing? Pretty much, yeah. I think that like see to be honest, I don't even know where it came from. Like it wasn't like it was premeditated. Like whenever you're obviously doing the voiceover on TikTok. If you think about TikTok as an app, everyone's scrolling and they're like wanting like it's entertainment, like do you know what I mean. So yeah. it's like yeah. it's a constant. Like you could be in that for you page for like an hour and a half without yeah. Know, easy, do you know what I mean? So like you're constantly just consuming. I just felt like the yes TikTok kind of like snappy, snaps like, you yeah. into it. Do you know yeah, it's yeah. like right. What w- what are you saying? Type of thing. So yeah I've pretty much just stuck with it do you ever get people coming up to you and being like yes TikTok <laughs> it's happened a few times like yeah but it's mainly what would happen is, is like people would come up and be like get their snapchat out and be like where's your favourite p- like food place in Belfast <laughs> seriously yeah I swear to God like, mate, I'm not like a puppet like I'm not just gonna yeah. sit here and dance for you like but yeah. just like fuck off <laughs> <laughs> nah it's good crack like but um, yeah a few people yeah it probably has been said before yeah. like, that's wild yeah. I don't think people will be like oh, it's that's Belfast crazy. though do you know what I mean yeah. it's like if you st- if you do anything to like put yourself out there in Belfast, it's gonna like it's easy to get recognised type of thing. Yeah, sure, yeah, so yeah. We I don't think we actually really experienced much of that until we went down to Derry. Like right. where there was people coming up and saying, like, Oh, I listen to your podcast actually, or something and we were like, yeah. That's sick. Yeah. But like I don't know how 
I would say we're us three. I don't know. We're not awkward, but at the same know, time, if someone like, walked up and went that, like, like that's what I was saying to the boys there. Like it was like yesterday morning, at, like half seven, I went into the like shop at back in our to get a coffee and right. me half asleep. Like the boy at the teller was like, "Oh, you do that podcast?" And I was like. Yeah, and he goes, oh, I thought I recognize him. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah. See, it's weird. Like, what did I say to you? It's <laughs> weird at the start. Like, it's kind of like, oh, are you that guy from TikTok? And you're like, yeah. yes. <laughs> like, I just kind of like laugh at, like, kind of yeah. just laugh it off. Like, you're not going to, like, spend 20 minutes after chatting yeah. with the person. You're just like, oh, yeah. I don't know how I'd feel about someone coming up to me with, like, a Snapchat camera and just See, being the like, thing is, though, it's on night out. So you're yeah. already, yeah. Kind of, you're already on the level often. anyway. So you just kind of have I a was, crack of it. Like, I was playing tennis in Balamino one day. <laughs> I messaged them. I was like, this is weird. I found tennis in Balmino one day and literally just this. And he was like 14, 15, but he was like standing at the side of the tennis court. And like every so often he glanced over and I felt him like looking at me. And I was yeah. like, but I never thought. I just thought like, why is he staring at me? He like, probably just thinks you're someone else. Yeah. Type of thing. And they started walking across the tennis court and I thought, first thing that went through my mind was, he's going to kick the shit out of me. Like, like he's going to try to <laughs> start something. Like, and I like, he just walked over and he's like, here's the crack. And I was like, yeah That's and he hilarious. was just like you do that podcast and he's like yeah and my mate was me with me and i was just like yeah and then we both kind of looked at each other and just <laughs> said nothing and he was just like my mate listens to you and i was like oh do you listen and he was just like i a few times and i was like you no, you don't what, <laughs> like, what age was the kid like probably like 15 16 yeah mm-hmm. fair it's so difficult you, though like because I don't think pe- people see you and they don't prepare what they're going to say to you because like, yeah. you're obviously yeah. not prepared for someone coming up to you because they always just jump on you and you're like yeah. oh, well. I, it doesn't obviously for me it doesn't happen to like a massive extent do you know yeah, what I mean yeah. I say on a night out in Belfast it would because like again yeah. it's Belfast it's a pretty small place but it yeah. happened me in Derry one time as well and um yeah, some kid just came up and was like, I was with my family and all, and they were like, oh, you're a guy from TikTok, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, like. But maybe jump straight into it. So obviously you do TikTok, but then there's another side that like maybe some people don't know. Yeah, so if you want to sure. get into that, so maybe just explain a bit about yourself and like. Kind of what I do, essentially. Yeah, what you yeah. do, yeah. So pretty much like TikTok is essentially like the thing that like people will know me for but like it isn't what pays the bills do you know what i mean so like what i'll do full time is social media marketing agency so pretty much we set up and manage uh, like clients facebook and instagram advertising campaigns then like another service with that is like social media management and like obviously tiktok has massively helped with that as well especially in like the kind of like hospitality kind of niche and stuff like that restaurants airbnbs and stuff like that so it would pretty much be like you know you go along say to a restaurant like one of my clients would be town square pretty much just film like inside blah 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 and um, come out with a few tiktoks and then just edit it up and then manage like the posting on their accounts and stuff like that yeah. um so that would be kind of like the agency kind of thing another thing that i do would be e-commerce so drop shipping essentially and um, so yeah i got started in that like may time 2020 and like i was pretty much always just looking into like passive incomes and like create as many streams just yeah. different sources of income yeah. do you know what i mean um it's just something i've always looked into and then at the time i got furloughed from a nine to five because of covid and stuff like that so it was like the perfect opportunity to like yeah. really get it going so yeah it got started in that and it done like a lot better than what i thought it was gonna do yeah. like it 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 it, it does good like it, it does really well so that like pretty much got me kind of in the space of like online businesses and kind of stuff like that so i was like right let's channel in more on that and then obviously through like like pretty much selling products through instagram and stuff like that i needed to learn how to do like facebook ads and stuff like that and then just pretty much through like trial and error on my own like e-commerce store i was like right i could easily pass this on to you know this these skills on to like other businesses etc so yeah started the agency signed up clients and yeah tiktok's obviously massively helped yeah. with that as well do you so. think like lockdown's obviously been a good thing for you then because like yeah 100 percent like because before that you're working nine to five and it's like you're just constantly just in that space of like repetition pretty much like go to work come home go to the gym chill out you don't really get the space to like really utilize all your time essentially so yeah like lockdown massively massively helped with all that i think for a lot of people like it's been good like like i think like there's a bit of a shit side to it where you've been locked up but like you look at a lot of businesses and things that have started for sure like like, any online business you think of amazon like like bezos is like probably quadrupled his net worth throughout all this like and it's like 
it's definitely taught people that like online is definitely the space you need to be in. I know. You know. So yeah, social media marketing for some done well. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So for some people, like lockdown, you know, understand it's probably been the worst time of some people's lives. But yeah. for others, it's like for I know for myself, it was technically one of the best. It just yeah. set like strong foundations for myself that like would set me to be able to obviously do it full time. Yeah, it like, gave a lot of people a lot of time to sort of sit back and think what can be done. And for sure, like, give them time to imagine. Like, use their imagination definitely and i think especially stuff like obviously apps like tiktok pretty much blew up yeah at the start of yeah. like crazy, the yeah. first lockdown and like yeah just as as you said like it just it's gave people a lot of time to kind of not self-reflect but just kind of like have that time to self to kind of figure out like you know say you're doing something you didn't necessarily want to be doing yeah it, it gave you that time to like be like right what other avenues could have go down is that so, where you came up with the idea for the food um tiktoks like um, during lockdown was yeah, something you, you thought you I'm probably could here. say that because like if you think about it in lockdown nightclubs and stuff like that aren't open so like anyone our age like what are you really doing at weekends yeah. you know you're going out with your mates and stuff like that when that's stripped away from you you kind of had to think outside the box of like right what am i gonna get up to what yeah. am i gonna do so like um yeah pretty much just like through that there you kind of needed to think out, outside the box and then like you, all the stuff you really could do was like go out for food and yeah. you couldn't even actually go out for food you either had to go somewhere Take pick it up yeah. and go so like yeah just pretty much tapped into that niche through that essentially like yeah tiktok kind of started at a good time though because obviously lockdown had hit yeah. and then i feel like a lot of people were doing it for a sense of like a something to do because it was so boring just being in the house yeah. but then b i think as i think as well as that tiktok kind of <clears throat> it kind of formed it did kind of form like a community if, yeah. if you know what i mean if like because no one was able to see each other interact with each other and tiktok mm-hmm. came along and was like oh we'll do all these trends like everybody will get involved like you know if yeah. i do this like people were doing all the dances and stuff and i feel like that's just quite how everybody because like us three i deleted all my tiktoks now but like yeah well. you started doing but like you like yeah, yeah. Tiktoks, yeah. Or yeah. Like, <laughs> absolutely being a dekla like just stupid like, like, like just <laughs> Me, memes sort of you, know the, you know the ones and it was like the people and it was like do 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 and people were like swiggling yeah. away I was Thomas, spinning around and then yeah like, Thomas okay. done one of them it was like when right. you go in and see the dishwasher is finished or something and then it was just you go like do 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 out the door I mean I don't know a few meme ones like I done one like it was like you know the Wolf of Wall Street like I've seen everyone do that it was like I take quite a load 15 no it wasn't that one it was like just you know when he's like i'm not going home day behind oh, yeah, yeah. i was like just him saying that and i was like, oh, was like oh when the pubs open up again yeah. on a sick last call and yeah. i don't know but like the here's the crack stuff it's like the stuff has done the best so. like share you had a few yeah, you're, good you're ones do numbers like yeah, yeah. i had a few good oh. ones on my own over lockdown like i think it was on like, your personal okay yeah, yeah. you got I like a few two, million two that blew up i think of like 800 th- or eight thousand followers on, it, on my own like but there was one there was one you put up and it was like that one where you is like you have two options like and i think yours is like yeah, pints was, with the boys or movie girl. night with the girl yeah, and it like was, it was the one that it actually started off as like mostly girls doing it and they're like crawling across their bedroom floor and you'd see them in the background in the mirror oh right okay so i did one and i was like it was like two cars it was like pints of the lads or going to meet the girlfriend yeah so i was like got into the car and they're like going to meet the girlfriend then you'd see me like away in the background driving across the field right yeah flying the other direction <laughs> it was pretty cr- it was pretty creative but yeah. i remember we were sitting on place that we were sitting playing xbox or something like on warzone and it was like we were all refreshing it was like <laughs> holy moly shay's <laughs> blowing up here <laughs> like the bleed like we're literally refreshing it and it was like one hundred and fifty thousand. then eight minutes later yeah, buying three hundred thousand. that's the thing about tiktok that like it does give you a buzz definitely at the start yeah. when you like yeah. close the app down like 30 minutes later it's like up a couple like tens of thousands of views and yeah. it's in hot like it's just mad it's, it's mad thinking now like i had that much time in my hands like, yeah. now you can't even get fucking 10 minutes to do something like it's crazy right? and then i got an, add another one as well it was like 1.6 mil views after that I, done the, I cut out like a piece of paper and stuck it on my brother's head like he'd shaved his head at the time yeah as everyone was doing during lockdown and then painted you know like the avatar yeah. <laughs> so painted that done uh, that there and then that fucking blew up as well i think it got even more views like and then that was sort of the first taste of the TikTok, i remember like. you asked me being like oh do you have any blue paint <laughs> <laughs> no but what's this guy up to here yeah. like, it was actually fucking i was asking everyone for this blue paint couldn't find it anywhere and you know i actually ended up using car paint you know for painting car and you mm-hmm. painted it on your wee brother. brother's head like. <laughs> i was sitting for he's not been the same since so <laughs> just in case it's hard to go back or something. Like. Whenever you go to Shay's house, his wee brother's just sitting in the corner He's on a chair, scared. rocking back and forward. 
He's he can never look at he can never look at a paintbrush <laughs> again the same way. Um, <laughs> but then obviously, like the TikToks, you started doing the TikTok. But then, how like uh, when did you kind of know with the TikTok this is going somewhere? Uh, I think like main thing with TikTok, right, is just choose a niche and stick to it. Definitely at the start until you start like picking up traction within that niche. So like say after like the canteen one probably. So I'd done one there. I think I'd done like 300 odd K and I was like, right, okay. Cause I think I'd done the first one, maybe like standard. Everyone started off at like the juice jar or something like that. Yeah. Cause there was a few of them going around and I was like, right, sweet, do this here. And I really wasn't even thinking anything of it. Like I didn't go in and start TikTok with like this big strategic like game plan of like, I'm just gonna like smash this, do you know yeah. what I mean? It was pretty yeah. much just like, but as I said, lockdown, kind of bit of crack like, and um yeah, it started picking up traction. Then definitely mm. the canteen one had done like 300 odd K and I gained like a couple thousand followers from it. And I was like, right, okay. But then also like to do with the kind of niche I'm in, it's like you can monetize off it quite well. Do you know what I mean? Because it's obviously, you know, it's massive exposure both for me, for my platform, but also for say, for instance, restaurants that I would do it for. So it was like, you know, you can easily monetize off it. You know, it does me good, it grows my account, but it also, it's a win-win situation for, you know, the restaurant as well, because yeah. it's unbelievable exposure for them. So I think, yeah, definitely after that one is whenever actually other places kind of started reaching out to me and stuff like that and saying like, you know, we like your content, we see what you've done for this place, this place, do you want to come along? So I was like, right, okay. Yeah, put the, but put the business head on here and you're kinda. saying like people were saying to you like you could be doing something with this, like you're getting so much views and stuff like you could be helping businesses if you know what I mean for sure yeah like definitely it's like I, I think you know the evidence was there that there was obviously you know for any business that level of exposure is great like yeah and like I don't know if the, like off the back like their their cues were absolutely uh, out the door yeah. like I, I don't know but, but like for for it's just about exposure really like if you're getting yeah. if you're hitting them type of numbers specifically within my kind of niche like it is pretty much like all NI kind of based like NI slash Ireland so it's like yeah. you're getting that exposure it's not going out to like the US or like mainland UK it's like it's pretty niche down so yeah. Yeah. even even with yours I find there's like a knock on effect like you do you generally go to a place and you'll find like other people not copying her TikTok, but also going there. So, so there's like I, a no knock on effect. Yeah, and then like I, I I don't know, mate. I haven't seen it. Like, but yeah, it's there I, is. I, a, I sort of yeah. I think it a, is like when one place blows up and tech, like I think that's the joke we the sort of made with Juice Jar. But like, that, like we were chatting to the girls and we said like, did you notice a difference? And they yeah. were like, yeah. Like she's yeah. like the amount of people coming and after you were like, this is mad. Yeah, definitely. But then I feel like a lot of places in Northern Ireland once they shut and you weren't allowed to sit in, they were getting more creative. Like if anything, lockdown probably done some places the world good because you've got like the Maiden Nunt Room van mm. started mm. and there's a place out, like there's so many places out my way that I didn't even know about. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like it probably done them, probably done them the world good because it forced everybody to sort of stand back and go, right, what can we do that's not, you know, in line with just the norm. Yeah. But one thing I thought was quite interesting whenever you kind of said it there was your mum and dad kind of said to you about you know you shouldn't you technically shouldn't be doing this for nothing which yeah, is exactly. quite uncommon yeah so it was after the canteen one pretty much like i didn't even obviously i don't really say to my mum and dad like oh here like this is what i'm doing yeah. like, I'm, not a kid, I'm not a kid you're just like i'm fucking but, like, class <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much like I, I was doing it and then i think that someone might have said something to my sister or something like that like oh i seen your brother i think yeah. she might have went home and then before you know it my mum's called me being like what's this about you having like 300 odd thousand views on tiktok and i was like yeah blah 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 and she obviously seen she was like are you getting paid for that or are you doing that for free? And I was like, well, you know, some of like that one in particular, I, I did do for free. And mm. she was like, right, like, you know, not like, what are you doing essentially? But like, she was like, you know, you easily could be monetizing off that. And I knew that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously like I knew, but um, yeah, so that's pretty much. It's pretty, um, like a lot of parents I feel like would probably be like, why are you yeah. <laughs> going and get yourself a proper job? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, because I was already, like by that stage, I was already working for myself yeah. full time. I was already doing the e-commerce. I was already doing the social media marketing side of things. So like, I, I did have a bit of extra time on my hands. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it was like, yeah. but also like, I don't know. In this day and age, it's like, what is a proper job? You know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah. you know, especially That's every, like, you know, if you can find something right that you enjoy, like, and it's, you're not actually having to work for someone else and you can monetize off it, like, more the better, do you know what I mean? But, well, yeah. I think you're a good example of, like, the way it is sort of going now, like, what, like, like, we're saying about online and stuff. Yeah. Like, 
people need content to post on their for social media like and yeah. like a lot of businesses don't even know like i remember years ago saying to my dad like he does like gates and raises and stuff and i was like oh like you need to be on facebook and stuff and he's just like what are you on about and, like yeah. spending money on ads yeah. but, like, and it's like what what is pe- you know if you have a spare minute now your, your head's most likely in your phone exactly, you know yeah, what i mean yeah. it's like for businesses in the past like you would have maybe advertised in like newspapers or radio and stuff like that yeah. and through that it's it's broad you, whereas like on social media you can really channel down into like specific you know interests and stuff like that yeah. geographical location it's like social media is where people's attention is drawn to so with that obviously people businesses need to be advertising on it and yeah you need to, even like for yourself like you need to be putting yourself out there exactly so most of the stuff you do now obviously you're still making tiktoks where you're going certain places obviously i feel like there are some where you kind of know that you're you're being sort of paid to go there's some tiktoks where you do sort of make that obvious but like are most of the places you go would you still make pla- like you know tiktoks where maybe if you're in you know another place like donegal or yeah. whatever you would just be like oh this is class i'm gonna just do yeah, this for, sure. for free like about i'd say probably about 50 percent of the ones that i push out are for free it's like like if if if, if someone reaches out right you're obviously not going to do that for free like if someone yeah. reaches out like in instagram or whatever i'm going to say right there's a rate to this obviously um but yeah like i'm about a lot do you know what i mean especially throughout summer i'm up in donegal and stuff like that and um yeah like if, if i'm out somewhere with my girlfriend or whatever and yeah i'm obviously gonna film it because yeah. it's, it's gonna the way i see it right if i like grow my if i like took a negative reaction was like i'm only doing restaurants that are gonna pay me my account's not gonna grow yeah. so yeah. it's like yeah. if i can grow the account right while monetize off it making you know a bit of money off it that's fair like that's good do you know what i mean but also like i'm like a believer if like if you give out good stuff like say for instance do it completely for free pay for your food get them a viral video like you're doing good and that's gonna come back to you in one way or another yeah. do you know what i mean whether that be like someone refers you for a client or like just whatever like it's, it's gonna come round on itself do you know what i mean so like i'm 100 percent happy doing some for free obviously if you reach out you know some places do have the expectancy where it's just like oh well like you'll just kind of come down we'll give you like free food and on your way and you're like right no it's yeah. not gonna work like that because yeah. like, i'm gonna have to drive to your place spend they give up my own time for like what burger and chips like do you yeah. know what i mean and yeah. i'm not gonna yeah. do it but yeah That's for like for ones that i actually do want to go to like I'll, I'll do it for the content type of thing i suppose like a lot of people now like i suppose you will have ones that i think a lot of businesses do see the value in that sort of content now and like tiktok and social media but then i suppose there still is the ones that are like oh well it's just a video like. old school kind of yeah. 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 yeah i think it's like it's just that you can't really break down like you're not gonna explain you're not gonna spend that much time being like oh no like you desperately need this yeah you know like going I mean? through it's analytics like, and all like yeah exactly yeah. like yeah. if someone if someone knows the value of it they're gonna they're gonna want you to come do it like and yeah if they don't they i think don't, that's, do that's I mean? the difference too i say a lot of people just look at it and think oh this is like a five second video this take took them five seconds yeah. like, but they don't it's see crazy like because like and it, i try to keep them say if, like within 20 seconds right and see like say one yeah. that does like 300k you've got like a th- over a thousand hours watch time like you've probably yeah. seen it for yeah. yourselves yeah. Like, like that's correct me if i'm wrong but that's like pretty much like over a month's worth of like probably close to a month's yeah, worth yeah. of watch time for a 20 second video like that's yeah. crazy. unheard of like you know, yeah. it's crazy so like if someone does want to say somewhere does reach out some places will say can you send us over your analytics and when they see like numbers like that they're like right there's clearly value added here generally. yeah exactly so um, well, i just want to ask one more before we went off the food thing have you got like a go-to place like what is I d- maybe you're on a bit yeah so around Belfast like um, yeah. I do like Balbon I'm not gonna Balbon, lie lovely, it's a good yeah. spot good, like, it is decent um, Boozham is pretty good as well like yeah. like it's just it's kind of just standard now do you know what I mean have um, you a favourite f- type of food or just um, like trying a bit of everything I suppose? Mate, I, as I said is like I'm not like a pure like foodie kind of <laughs> yeah. like yes yeah. that is the niche that like most people know me for but like as I said, yeah, like if you put something in front of me, I'm most like gonna be like, yeah, yeah it, was, it was, it was good, like. You know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> Obviously, like with TikTok, like you've got good comes from it and stuff, so you probably grew a business, you know, successfully from it. But then, looking at the other side of it, TikTok obviously had well social media in general has its crap side uh, yeah. and that's sort of thing we were saying before we started this so maybe get you to sort of touch on that is 
you don't kind of beat around the bush with comments like if people are you know i just i think it's jokes like yeah Yeah. it's funny like some of the comments that like say someone says something in the comments like stupid comment whatever when you actually click on the profile it's like harry kane with and it's like like the profile picture is like a footballer and no content posting you're like it's just a troll like do you know what I mean? yeah. so it's it's hilarious i got it bad but see if you actually read see town square like town square the restaurants one their ones are ridiculous like Seriously? some of the people in the comments yeah it's hilarious their like, own tiktok so yeah their own tiktok like the comments some of the comments they get under it Seriously? is hilarious like yeah. what would be like one of the best like what sort of hang- comments oh, are we talking on. like so i think someone wants like this is probably just a random one like but someone said like all the place smells like cigarettes <laughs> and they replied to it they replied to it yeah. was like are you sure it wasn't just you question mark and like the guy started like cracking up and like oh like I'm, I'm i could be a potential customer like blah, 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 yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that but like under my own like i don't i don't really get that much like not all that much like, yeah. people you, a you, you, me, you like. don't necessarily respond though to comments which are like hate comments yeah. you more you more respond to comments that are challenging you on something so yeah. like you've you've had a few not going to go down that vaccine route but like yeah. you've obviously done the tiktok and the vaccine and someone kind of went oh well you probably had a pile of people you know calling you all sorts but yeah. like the I one still that, people comment on yeah that one. Like <laughs> there's ago, like, <laughs> yeah. and there's one you done uh you said you're going to Derry. yeah and then you got the whole <laughs> trans like ni dairy stroke london dairy type uh, thing mate see cause it was even like so i addressed that there one like dairy london dairy like i don't care what you call it do you mm. know what i mean like i'm not political blah 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 um but i just do call it dairy do you know what mm. i mean it's like yeah um but even i done one like a restaurant one it's a place called mekong up in dairy and like even under that because i say dairy in it like it's just full of like comments yeah. like people's like pure getting aggressive with each other well, like, we had this conversation they were just like it's shorter let's say it right yeah of course like and, but i think like our generation is all the same it's like we don't really care about like politics necessarily yeah. we're not that political there still is like a certain percentage but it's just like you just kind of have to but then uh, them off, i would like. say a lot of the comments in that like if someone was to turn around and like say someone on like a night out or something's coming back and they're a wee bit like on the drink or something opened up your tiktok and seeing that you said dairy yeah. they maybe do not give one flying crap about yeah. you know it being dairy or london dairy but they've just probably went i'm gonna kick I'm off gonna here, here <laughs> and be like comments. dairy question yeah. mark <laughs> you yeah. know so it's probably not but like if you like apart from that like would you ever have anything else in terms of like people just being asses um i've i think people have said that my voice is annoying sometimes like i've heard that like oh your voice goes through me blah 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 um what else i don't know ginger is obviously a pretty standard one like, <laughs> like, <laughs> um you're, you're naturally gonna get that but uh, nah, i'm trying to think mate probably probably not one there was one that was actually hilarious we were at my it was one of my mates it was his graduation party now he lives he lives in malone and uh, it's a nice house obviously and like the party i was think i've seen this one yeah the party was class like he had like a pure it was just such a good setup and like people were commenting being like what in the universal credit is this <laughs> like, we were all in the group chat after being like mate this is hilarious like but nah like jenny it wouldn't really i wouldn't really get that much bad comments like in any yeah. that i do i reply to them like it's it's funny like do you know what i mean i it's do enjoy a bad comment as long as it's creative like yeah, yeah. Like, because, because you're saying that universal credit one like that's funny like that's, yeah. someone's put thought into that i yeah. think that, like tiktok's good because there's an art. like there's a there's a sense of rawness on tiktok and i think that's why it's actually done class because yeah. see instagram like honestly i think it's it's quite boring now like everything yeah. is so like edited like everything's so like face tune and stuff like that and like it's kind of fake in a way do you know what i mean and like yeah. tiktok is just raw it's like whatever's there just smash it out it can it can go viral like do yeah. you know what i mean it's like i think like for me i barely go on instagram that much anymore yeah. the only thing i use instagram for is like stories pretty much yeah. i don't really scroll too much yeah, on it, the like, same like i like, spend all my time on tiktok now like. i would like see i have the like r like do you ever see that it's like your screen time kind of thing so if like yeah. i spend yeah. an hour day on tiktok it'll come up and i'll be like have to catch myself on be like right what am i doing unless yeah. i'm like editing a few that day that's different yeah but like yeah don't get me wrong there can be days where it'd be like you can't just fart about on it like, oh, do you know no. what I, mean? I always find if like say for example someone sends in like a video into the group chat or something like that there and you go on it and that's that starts you on it like mm-hmm. like you've watched one video and then yeah, you scroll down just yeah and then you, the next thing you're on it for an hour and then you're like, stuck in the whole yeah. the i find it quite funny though some of the comments that come in we've never got really many creative ones we just right. get the standard 
why are you doing this? You this is a waste of time. Like, like yeah, yeah. say it, say like, I, more, no, I like they, them. They I like them. We should say I like you more. Got me saying it. Like, yeah. Yeah. As I said, dude, it's like literally Just my girlfriend's off. flaming me for it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember at the start though, we got one comment where someone was like, "You three look like you're just out of bed." <laughs> and we were just like, we were on. It was over lockdown or something, and we were on Xbox, and we were just like, "No, we don't, do we?" I don't think we do. It's no, like I don't. Pure got us like, you know, <laughs> yeah. sitting up at four in the morning, being like, "Was I just up out of bed there?" <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that 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 account that said that like it's keeping you up at night, desperate. <laughs> but you see, you see them now. Like they come in, and we normally just look at them and go, "Yeah, very good." Yeah, yeah. Go on with your day. Do that's you too safe. Do you ever reply to any of the comments? No. See, that's the thing. But you know, we don't get any like good ones. Like there's no yeah. like there's been a few of that we sent I sent under the group chat. Like I do the TikTok. Like and I was like. Like you can't even reply to it. Like I'd love one that you could sort of give like a yeah, smart reply to. Yeah. But there's none like that. They're just stupid, like fucking Aye. shit ones. Either like really com- comments like young yeah. people or really old people as well. Mm. Like there was one, yeah. <laughs> some guy nineteen sixty seven or something. We were just like, All right, yeah. There's Dead someone off. I actually have under, and it's like I don't know if he's old or not, but it's like his profile picture's an old man, and like that could be that could be anyone. <laughs> like, yeah. That could literally old. be anyone. But he he be's under mine a lot. So like yesterday I posted one, I said Ireland, and he he like typed it out like as if I said it. So he was, I don't know, it was so weird. But um, yeah, you sometimes you will see like the same kind of account consistently yeah, coming, yeah. yeah. and you're like, mate, come on, like, they'll be following walk, you like, as well. Go dander. Yeah. Go walk, yeah. <laughs> there's ones you see, and there's someone who give you shit, and you like click into their account, and it's like following you, and you're just like, yeah. just don't follow us. Like. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you were saying there, like before, like you've obviously get get opportunities from TikTok, and like you were at Ben Nicky VAP. Yeah. So the way that came about was. Ben, you know on TikTok, you, you can only message someone if you both follow each other, he's a friend. Yeah. Yeah. And he followed me a while back, and I didn't really think that much of it, because just didn't really think that much of it, blah, blah, blah. And then his stuff like kept coming up for me on the For You page, and it obviously said, like, followed you down the bottom left corner. I like clicked on his account, and I was like, this guy's big deal, like, like he's an international DJ, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I, I just messaged him, was like, yo, mate, blah, 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 like, if you're ever in Belfast, like, let me know. I'd love to go to one of your shows, blah, blah, blah. And he, he replied, like, pretty much bang on. Like, instantly, he was like, uh, yes, buddy, like, how things? Um, I'm actually performing in Belfast at Belsonic next week. Like, if you want to come do some promo stuff to sell a few more tickets, blah, 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 I'll shoot you VIP tickets. So I was like, sweet, yeah, let's do it. So it was a funny story, actually. I, I, like, was pretty much just going back and forth with him over DM on TikTok. So then I, like landed down one day so me and him had mute, like agreed pretty much that I was doing it now I don't know if he passed it on to like his management team or Bellsonic who are actually down there every day like making the whole set blah 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 so I just dandered down I was I was like in Orma I was around like Orma Road and I was like right here I've got a bit of time here I'll dander down so like while they were setting it up I just went over to the guy and just was like here mate uh I pretty much do TikToks. I've been talking to Ben Nicky. Um, here's here here's here's like a here's our chat pretty much. And uh, he was like, right, okay, let me go chat with someone here. So I'm sitting over to the side, just pretty much waiting. Like, am I gonna get in or not? <laughs> and they're probably just thinking, who's this random kid who's just like dandered down? And was like, here, can I get in? To, <laughs> to, to, to take a few videos here. And uh, I text Ben. Was like, yo, mate, like blah 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 down here. But obviously he's probably doing whatever. Like, so he wasn't replying instantly. And they came over and was like, right, we're going to get in contact with his management here. Like, go away, get a coffee, go home for an hour or two. Like, when, if he gets in contact with you, like, come back. So I, my girlfriend, she only lives around East Belfast. So I, like, went around to hers, chilled out for, like, two hours. And then he texted back and was like, yes, mate, it's all sorted. Like, go on down. So, yeah, pretty much just, like, done some promotional. Like, got to obviously walk around, like, the whole kind of set and stuff like that. Done some promotional stuff for it. And it done good, like. And, like, off the back of that, like... AVA, I'm doing the same for them this week as well because they're that's happening on this Friday, so I'm doing the same stuff for there. So, yeah, that's pretty much how that came about. Like, it's sick the way though, like if you just do are a bit outgoing and they like, put yourself yeah. out there, like what can't come from it, though? especially as I said, like in a place like here where it's like you just spoke on it in a few of the other podcasts. It's like there is still that kind of stigma over here where it's like you don't put yourself out there if you know yeah, what I mean. yeah. like oh what are you doing that for that's weird like whereas if you go to london or manchester like 30 minute an hour flight away it's like that's the norm over yeah. there like everyone's kind of doing that kind of thing so like as i said like if you do it in belfast and do it you're obviously you know putting out good quality content like yeah. you will get recognized for it 
pretty quickly as well yeah yeah so you, like there there is we have sort of talked about it before where there is that kind of and again like we've had a f- we've had a few comments where it's like why do, why do you do so, why do you do this why, why do you why do, do this do why, do you bo- why, why do you bother yeah. and we're like because we enjoy like why would you go out and play football because yeah. you enjoy playing you enjoy it like it, you know yeah. what I mean and if it's like we enjoy the sort of aspect of like interviewing people like sort of getting to know people like their stories and all that there but I think that goes to show that if you are kind of just a bit more if you give a little you probably get more in return yeah. and I think that's a perfect sort of scenario there where so like what what all apart from AVA what's coming up in the future is there anything sort of so tasty like, where you're like as I said like the TikTok kind of thing that's pretty much just like the end product of what I really do like my main focus is e-commerce and the social media marketing agency like TikTok is like I'm kind of just having fun with it do you know what I mean it's yeah. not like it's not like I don't see myself as like influencer like this is my full-time career like my breadwinner is obviously the e-com and the social media marketing stuff and like TikTok and stuff like that yes that has massively massively helped with the the agency kind of side of things yeah. but like yeah that like the e-commerce and the agency is my main focus TikTok is like it's fun do you know what I mean and but I'm still like I still do take it serious but like my main priority is that do you know what I mean I suppose it's just like growing your personal brand as well like getting opportunities for your yeah, business type of thing. exactly and it's like as I said to you it's like I, I'm a firm believer if, if, if you give out good stuff it's gonna come back in one yeah. way or another so it's like like that Ben Nicky stuff I didn't have a clue that was gonna happen like I reached out to him within a week he was performing and all that was done it happened like that and then AVA next week it's just it's it's stuff like that it's just other opportunities come and you just go in the direction yeah. of it pretty much yeah. you know what I mean so yeah you would never think of starting like a YouTube or something I would as I said to you as well it's like with a TikTok you can go along like shoot content get it edited within the day you do it pretty much get it out and it's like got great exposure with it like YouTube is like you do have to spend a lot more time on it so like I like one of my mates he's class at editing and stuff like that and we've sat down and we've chatted about it but it's just like getting the momentum going do you know what I mean it's yeah. like over here as well like I don't feel like I could like fit in enough in it obviously say there's a festival or something you could probably make a daily like a one day vlog just about that there yeah. but like I've kind of been thinking it's like if you blended it up into a week like throughout the week I'm gonna have like enough on that I could like mash up into like say 15-20 minute video do you know what I mean so like have a thought about it yes have it done it no <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. but like yeah I definitely wouldn't rule it out because obviously yeah you can monetize yeah. off that quite well as well so someday I'm like, maybe we get, get you back on we yeah. were uh, we were talking about this the other day on one of our other podcasts and maybe it would be a good question to ask you so we know the way you see a lot of people on TikTok and stuff and they're maybe like they're running their own business like kind of what you'd be doing like you know your social media management and stuff yeah but it's kind of like they get up in the morning have like a nice like you know avocado on toast type mm. thing go get a coffee and stuff and like they don't actually seem like they're like working like what would your day consist of yeah. in terms of like is it all over the place or is there like it's a funny, specific because see the so e-commerce the reason why i set that up is because it is a passive stream of income like what i'll do for that is pretty much post say three times a day on instagram and i've got like facebook shop attached to it so the account that i have has got like 30k odd followers the posts will do well so like they'll hit the explore page and people can buy directly from my like from yeah. my website through the post so like you've pretty much got money coming in from that all the time like you wake up you've sales to fulfill place it with my supplier my supplier ships the product to the customer i make a profit margin in between so like you can have days where you're like you, you wake up you've made decent money and you can kind of yeah. sit and be like i don't really need to do all that much yeah. but obviously with the agency kind of things you do have that responsibility where it's like you know you've got clients you need to fulfill the service for them but it's not like as I said, is like I have someone help me out with the back end on like the ads kind of side of things, like to cover that. Yeah. So it's not like you know, some some weeks can be like busier with the agency kind of things, but the e commerce, as I said, like that's pretty much just a breadwinner. That's just kind of it's just an engine that's just like fueling itself yeah. to be honest. Like so, yeah, consistent. So like day to day, would I be like it, it can vary, but like I'll always like head into Belfast and like sit in a coffee shop sit in a hotel do a bit of work a few hours and that's pretty much it like it's not your standard 9 to 5 nah it's not and I've done the 9 to 5 for a bit like and it's it's not bad like but um, yeah I just prefer to kind of create your own freedom of time yeah, freedom of definitely. how much you earn as well so yeah. are you completely self-sufficient now like you don't work for anyone at all nah I don't work at for all. anyone at all it's all myself like um, 
and has been like that since at the start of this year because because i got a taste of the e-commerce last year yeah. and like while i was in my old nine to five it was bringing in a lot more than yeah. what my nine to five was so i was kind of sitting i was like right because the e-commerce isn't guaranteed income some yeah. months can be unbelievable and then some months it's still a good month but yeah. it's not guaranteed do you know what i mean so i was like right i need a business model where it's guaranteed income so have clients on a retainer and that's what brought in the social media marketing agency because you'll have clients paying you monthly retainers so you know yeah. right there's my guaranteed income so if anything happened with the e-commerce say supplier couldn't supplier whatever like that anymore you've still got that monthly retainer your guaranteed income yeah um so yeah with both of them combined yeah that's that's me for the time like so all right <laughs> how did you learn that um just to, to be honest so the kind of facebook ads kind of side of things just invested a lot of money into online courses and stuff like that so like yeah especially like in today's world like you've pretty much got everything at your expense on a computer like do you know what i mean yeah. it's like if you want to learn new skills you don't necessarily need to go do a four-year degree in it obviously yeah. you know if you want to do something specific like doctor or medicine or dentistry or whatever you obviously have to go do a degree in that but if you like you know if you want to do something say to do with marketing you don't necessarily need to go to that degree there's so many yeah. courses online completely at your expense that you can invest in yourself and you know you can actually learn how to set up a business through that so yeah it's pretty much just through that yeah i think probably the best place to end it is obviously you've given a lot of information there was there any times where you know even not even the TikTok, but like the social media management or like the drop shipping and stuff that there was a stage where like this isn't working or like there was any like sort of mm. periods that like you said you had months where it was like quite high and quite low was there any periods you're like oh crap this is not going mm. according to, to plan be honest, no like i've only been doing it like i've only been full-time by myself from like february this year so it's still relatively new to me Fresh. Yeah. you know what i mean yeah it's still relatively new um obviously in business and in life not everything is just straight on the up yeah, there will yeah. be things that happen where you're like right lost a bit of money there made a bit of money here but um no i haven't i've never really hit that point where it's been like oh god like this is done and this isn't working out i need to go back on myself no it's been and where where do you see it going or where do you expect it to go or what do you what are your yeah, hopes think, for the future i think just pretty much continue on as it is and like mm -hmm. obviously build the agency like get better clients get better results for clients as well yeah. um and yeah with the e-commerce as i said that's pretty much just running itself yeah. in a way um but like as i said to you like you don't know what opportunities can come for you especially with social media and like you don't you don't know what other avenues like people might see what you're doing but like right i've got this idea for what you're doing and stuff like that does happen where people say like you know i see what you're doing i could see you fitting in quite nicely here and like a joint partnership or whatever yeah. joint venture kind of thing um so yeah pretty much like as it stands at the minute very much happy with agency and e-commerce tiktok and stuff like that growing as well but yeah in two years time i don't i don't <laughs> really know what exactly yeah, is, what what is space. Like, you know hopefully I mean? things keep going well for you yeah, well, thanks for coming on it's yeah no good. for sure yeah thank you and where can you find you in terms of people want to get in contact with you through oh, business yeah, or so anything listen to this so obviously instagram is probably instagram and tiktok is probably it's the only real two social media platforms that i use so yeah just on there happy days so weird Brilliant. thanks very much for coming on yeah as I said, pleasure. Like, hopefully, get you on in two years' time when you're a millionaire. <laughs> see, see what happens. Yeah, see, see, see what happens. Like.